So apparently we are spying on Australia. What are your views on this? So are we spying on Australia? What's it mean by that? So here's, uh, uh, there's been some revelations apparently from the Australian government. We know that the Americans have been claiming that India has been trying to apparently, allegedly assassinate a, a Khalistani terrorist who is protected by the US, right? That, but that Panu fellow, that, that, that whole issue. Uh, now the Australians ha- are claiming that India has been operating uh, a spying operation uh, operation on Australian territory. So let, let's let's see what uh, let's find this. Um, okay, let's do this. <clears throat> so here's a, a report from ABC, which is the Australian Broadcasting Corporation. Uh, this is from 30th April this year. 2024, India's Modi government operated nest of spies in Australia before being disrupted by ASIO, which is the Australian whatever intelligence thing. So Indian spies were apparently kicked out of Australia after being caught trying to steal secrets about sensitive defense projects and airport security, as well as, well as classified information on Australia's trade relationships and so on and so forth. So that's an article from 30th of April. This is from the BBC, 1st of May this year. Australia sidesteps reports that it expelled Indian spies. And uh, uh, the Australian government has stocked up its close ties with New Delhi, despite reports that two Indian spies were expelled from the country in 2020, apparently. In 2021, Australia's intelligence chief said that foreign agents had been operating locally in the previous year, but he did not say their nationality. Multiple news outlets reported this week that they were from India. And so on. That's uh, from 1st of May this year. This is from 19th of June. This is an Indian publication. Four Indian spies apparently quietly expelled by Australia for attempting to leak sensitive information. So Australia has quietly expelled four Indian spies for attempting to blah, 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 blah. The spies purportedly tried to gain access to sensitive information on Australia's defense technology and airport security protocols. And so on and much more. Uh, and so on. Okay, so that the spies developed targeted relationships with current and former politicians, a foreign embassy, and a state police service. The spies monitored their country's diaspora community, which means Indian, apparently, allegedly Indian, India's diaspora, and tried to obtain classified information about Australia's trade relationships, and so on. You can you can read this. And this is from September 20 this year, and today is September 22. So that's just a couple of days ago. So Indian spies allegation, Australian PM Albanese says such matters raised privately. What I do is act diplomatically and have those discussions and that will no doubt be something that is raised, says Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. Uh, And yeah, so that's the deal. Okay, that's the uh, claim that is being made. That's the allegation that's being made that India... Uh, was operating uh, a nest of spies in Australia. And the spies were allegedly, according to these claims, uh, monitoring the Indian diaspora. They were uh, cultivating relationships with uh, with current Australian politicians, former Australian politicians, at least one foreign embassy. Uh, They were trying to, uh, and so on. Okay, whatever. You saw the claims. You can read up at your leisure if you like. That's the claim that's been made. Now, as always, there is no evidence that is uh, presented to substantiate the claim. It's just a claim that's made. And uh, so so what do I make of this? Look, in so what do I make of this? What I make of this is very simple. Every nation <laughs> spies on the others. Okay? Let's be very clear about this. When you have a foreign embassy on your territory, you have to treat it as a nest of spies. Israel is very clear, very explicit about this. If any member of the Israeli Defense Forces, IDF, is discovered to have, let's say, uh, accepted a ride in a vehicle that has foreign diplomatic plates, that person is court-martialed immediately. Because all foreign diplomats are considered to be foreign spies by Israel. And that's how you have to look at all diplomatic activity. In some way or the other, it is 
a form of spying you could you could consider it to be a form of spying uh, except maybe the highest level so your uh, high commissioner will probably not be a spy there will be a diplomat uh, the ambassador won't be a spy that person will be a diplomat usually uh, but you have uh, military attaches and trade attaches and whatnot okay all kinds of attaches you have who have different uh, uh, functions to carry out and some of these functions involve gathering intelligence overtly covertly whatever so there's generally a certain percentage of trained career spies professional spies in any embassy so it's it's well known everyone knows this so when it comes to a nation like india historically <laughs> historically uh, uh, an also ran kind of country uh, historically a nation with no uh, no uh, ambition which was once actually stated explicitly by prime minister manmohan singh that india has no aspirations or ambitions of being a great power we just want to exist quietly in peace and please leave us alone that sort of thing and we will uh, that, that that's what, that's uh, the kind of statement mr uh, manmohan singh had made dr manmohan singh had made so historically india has been like this the past uh, since 47 right and now india is a different kind of uh, nation india is uh, India's economy is growing rapidly. India's overall hard power is expanding. India's interests are expanding. We have uh, interests in uh, in a variety of uh, geographical zones uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, it, uh, it's something to do with supply chains, for example. It's uh, something to do with uh, access to resources in various parts of the world, and so much more, so much more. So naturally, as your interests expand, you would need, you would want and need to gather information that is pertinent and relevant to that. Mm -hmm. And it's possible that there may be a little bit of maybe some some grain of truth to what the uh, what these allegations uh, claim. Maybe, possibly, perhaps. Okay, I have no idea. It's possible there could be some grain of, grain of truth. Is it also not true that all the other foreign embassies in India spy on India? Of course they do. It's very clear. It's known. Uh, India expelled a bunch of Canadians last year, didn't, didn't we? A bunch of Canadian spies from the Canadian embassy or consulate or whatever it was, from probably from Delhi, if I'm not mistaken. I may be wrong, but you can look it up. So it's it's a routine thing. So it's no big news that an embassy would spy upon its host country. No big deal. But to announce this and make, you know, publish this and, and tell the media about this, that is kind of unusual. Usually these cloak and dagger things are done behind, behind the scenes, away from public view. And there's a whole lot of intrigue that goes on behind this. So to make this public is, well, the, the purpose of that would be to apply some kind of pressure on India. And Australia, as we know, is a nation that is essentially owned and controlled by the U.S. I mean, Australia is a wonderful nation, very nice people. We in India have uh, great cricketing ties with Australia. And there's a significant Indian diaspora there. But overall, if you look at how the relationships work, Australia is part of the Five Eyes Coalition, or whatever you want to call it, Five Eyes Partnership. Uh, Australia is one of the Anglosphere nations, one of the closest allies of the U.S. Uh, and you could say, I mean, there's a permanent U.S. military presence in Australia. The, the Australian uh, government has also in the past allowed America, the United States, to test nuclear weapons on Australian soil. So the relationship is extremely close. And you could, to some extent, say that the U.S. is Australia's guarantor of security and what and much more. And the relationship is kind of, kind of comparable to the relationship the U.S. has with Japan. So if the Australians have made such claims, allegations, you could perhaps imagine that there could be an American angle in this. The Americans, uh, before this, the Canadians have made various claims, right? Justin Trudeau made various claims about uh, whatever, well, the, the entire fiasco that happened last year and the uh, relationship, the, the, the diplomatic relationship between the two nations reached uh, all-time lows because of uh, Justin Trudeau. Uh, and the allegations he and his, uh, and his uh, government made about India. Now one could also imagine that there could be a U.S. hand behind this. The U.S. controls the Five Eyes Coalition, the Anglosphere. The U.S. is the most powerful nation. All these other nations are its various client states, the closest clients. 
and they'll do what they're told. So if the US wants to apply pressure on India diplomatically, it can have it done via all its client states, the UK, the, 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 uh, the UK, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand, and various other EU nations, NATO nations, whatnot. It's, it's got a whole array of choices at its uh, disposal. So my views are that the US is trying to apply pressure on India from a variety of fronts. The Canadian allegations, the American allegations about India allegedly trying to assassinate or or, or neutralize a terrorist who is shielded and, and harbored by the Americans. These Australian allegations, it's all about creating this, this sense of siege. We are being besieged on from all sides, that sort of thing. So what does it mean? It means that they want India to change its approach to certain things. What could those things be? One is obviously the relationship with Russia. The Americans want India to cut off its relationship with Russia and become a complete U.S. client state, a vassal state. India is too big, too large to become a U.S. vassal state, but the Americans want to do, want this to happen. And um, things like that. So this is all part of U.S. pressure tactics on India. That's my view on this. Whether it's true or not is beside the point. Every nation spies on each other, uh, on the other. The Americans have a full time, I assure you, plus flying uh, spying operation on India, and that's no big deal. As as a great power, as a superpower, they would be spying on everybody, and it makes sense for them to do the, do that. So if India is also doing a little bit of spying somewhere or the other, what's the big deal? I mean, it's no surprise to anyone. But yeah, so that's my view on this matter.